everyone, I'm Allison and I work at the Eager Free Public Library in Evansville and my library shorts are coming to you on Saturdays and they are all about mindfulness and movement. So the weekend is a good time to relax and recharge so hopefully these will help you do it with some activities. And we're going to start each one of my shorts with a deep cleansing breath because it's a great way to calm your body and relax. So today I'm going to breathe in that crisp fall air through my nose and exhale a big gust of wind that you can probably hear rustling the trees through my mouth. So like this. Can you do that with me? One more time. All right. So our theme for October is fall. And my video has two parts to it. The first one, I'm going to show you a few fall inspired yoga poses. And the second part, I'll show you how to make your own sensory box with natural materials that you can find outside. For our first part, we're gonna do yoga. So all you need is your body and a little bit of space to move it in. So you could be inside or outside. So our yoga poses are all about trees. So fall, we have our beautiful trees changing colors and the leaves falling to the ground. So we're gonna start with tree pose, which is a balance pose. So I'm gonna ground my feet into the earth and lift up one foot and turn it into a branch balance it here on my calf. You can balance it up on your thigh too. And then I'm going to get some big branches that grow. Maybe I'm an evergreen with a pointy top or maybe I'm a wide tree. And you're going to hold your balance here as long as you can. You might wobble in the wind. Trees sway in the wind too. That's okay. If you need to step your foot down and try again, that's okay too. You can see how long you can hold it and you can switch sides. Ground your other foot and lift one up. Now I'll be an evergreen and see how long you can hold it. Maybe you can think about trees standing tall, moving in the wind. Our next pose is a forward fold. So we're going to stand up and bend down like we're a tree losing all of our leaves. So I'm going to breathe and hold my hands up and fold down like my leaves have fallen. We'll do it again. Breathe up. Let your leaves fall down. All right, our third pose is child's pose. And that one is how we're going to pretend to be a pile of leaves on the ground. So this one, you're going to get on the floor or the ground. Start in your knees. And you're going to slide your body forward and kind of rest on your tummy and your arms. This is a great pose to relax in. If you're feeling out of control and you want to calm down, practice those breaths did in the beginning, this is a nice one to try. So you're going to go like this and put your head down. And you can breathe in deeply. I'll show you it from the side too so you can kind of see. My legs are bent. Got some leaves here. And you're going to reach your hands up and your head down. Pretend you're a pile of leaves on the ground. Hope you enjoy some yoga. Our second activity is a do-it-yourself sensory box that you can make with natural materials that you find in your neighborhood. So you can use the nature scavenger hunt template that we've provided or you can come up with your own list of things you'd like to find or just go for a walk and see what inspires you. While you're out walking try to pay attention to what you see and hear and smell in the fall it's a great way to get connected back to your body and your environment. So I'm going to show you what I found on my nature walk. So I found some stones, some flowers that were drying up. I found a few different color leaves. I have brown and yellow and red and some green ones on my flower. I found an evergreen branch and some sticks. I even found these purple flowers. They smell really neat. So once you've gathered all of your things, you can use this box to explore. A fun idea is to play a guessing game. So you might close your eyes and choose one thing from the box. If you're doing this with someone in your family or a friend, you could ask questions like, how big is it? Is it bigger than your hand? What does it feel like? Is the texture smooth or rough? Does it feel differently if you touch it to your face? or hold it in your hand, what shape is it? And see if you can describe it and the other person could guess what it is. 
you can see if just by picking it up you can guess something by touch. Um, it's a great way to explore your senses. You might even find, like I said, these smell interesting, so you might be able to identify something by smell too. You never know. So see what you can find, have fun getting out and exploring outside, and enjoy your day. Thanks everyone!